Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make Flappy Bird in Xcode, but with Swift this time. So let's get started. Alright guys, so to get started, I just created a new Xcode project, and I'm just going to create a new game. So go down here and click Game. Next. And I'm just going to call this Flappy Bird Swift. And make sure you have the language is Swift. The game technology is Sprite Kit, and the devices is iPhone. So now next, and I am just going to create it on my desktop. All right, now when this opens up, let's go and head on over to our game scene.swift, and let's just erase everything that we have inside of the move, did move to view then also erase everything inside of for touch inside of that touches area and that should be it okay now to get started let's just set a gravity to this world so we first want to say self dot physics physics world dot gravity equals CG vector make and we want to have it 0, 0.0 and then negative 5.0 and this just makes the Y value a little bit heavier so the gravity is a bit heavier on the Y side so you move down faster as things go along okay now next we want to set up the bird, so I'm just going to say add a comment that just says bird, and I'm also going to add a comment up here that says physics. So for our bird, we first want to create a texture. So we want to create a variable, and we'll just call this bird texture, and then say equals sk, SK texture, and then in parentheses and say image named and now I'm going to grab some files that I actually created so right here I have um, not there sorry images I have some images that I created don't judge my bird but uh, basically my these images right here will be our bird and our ground that's all we're gonna program today so that's all I made so our bird just to give you the size reference, it is 90 by 90. And then our ground is 336 by 112. So make sure when you create your bird that it has these exact specifications, or you can edit the code later on according to the bird or ground that you make. But basically this code is specifically designed for my bird and ground. Okay, now let's just go down I'm going to close that down and drag that into our project. Now, as you can see, it's right down here. I'm going to move it down a little bit more. Okay. So now we want to set this uh, bird texture to an image named bird, or whatever you guys name it. I just called mine bird.png, so bird. Okay. Now we want to say bird bird texture dot filter filtering mode equals sk texture filtering mode and colon I'm sorry dot nearest Okay, next we want to make our bird. So let's actually go back up here. So we're going to create a variable. And this will be inside of our class but outside of our function if, of the did move to view. This makes it available more widely. So I'm just going to say variable and it is bird. And I usually like to lowercase the first word and then uppercase the next word. So like bird game. It'd be like that but anyway it's just one word it's a bird okay so variable bird and then go down here and we want to say bird equals sk texture 
I'm sorry, SK uh, sprite node, and then say texture colon, and this time we want to say bird texture, the one that we created right up here. Okay, now we want to end. Now we want to go to our next uh, next line and to say bird dot set scale. And this is what you would change according to the size of your image. Right now, mine will be set to 0 0.5. And end it. You don't need the semicolon at the end. Too used to Objective-C. All right, now we want to go down here and just say bird dot position equals CG point. And we're going to do open parentheses. And then right down here, it says X colon CG float, Y colon CG float. So pick that one right there. And we want to change out the CG floats for self.frame.size.width. And then say multiply it by 0 0.35. And this just offsets it to the left a little bit, like Flappy Bird. And now for our next CG float, we want it to be self.frame.size.height. And then this will be times 0 0.6. And this puts it above halfway like Flappy Bird. So it's pretty much in the middle between the ground and the top. OK. So now let's separate that real quick. And that's what it should look like. And now we want to add a physics body to our bird. This just makes it so it can collide with other things around the area. So let's go bird.physicsbody equals sorry equals sk physics body open parentheses circle of radius and then colon and just say bird sorry bird dot size dot height divided by 2. And as you can see, this takes the radius of the bird, and then it makes a physics body around the bird with a circle. So now the bird has a, physic has a physics body of a circle. Now we want to say bird dot physics body dot dynamic equals true and this just means that it can move and then bird sorry and then say bird dot physics body dot allows rotation equals equals false we don't want this physics body to rotate around. And now we want to add this bird to our scene. So a self dot add child and say bird. Okay. Now let's run this and see what it does. All right. So there it is. The bird pops on the screen, falls down, and then once it hits down here, it dies. So that is just built into Sprite Kit that when it goes off the screen, it dies. But that is what happens you build this scene. Okay, now we want to add when the when the bird falls down, we want ground on there. So we don't want the bird to just go off the screen. We want ground there. So let's go ahead and add the ground. So let's go eh, let's go ahead and just I'm going to separate this out by putting in a comment right there. So comment ground and then we will add a variable, and this will be our ground texture. And this will be very similar to up here. We will add a physics to the ground and everything like that. So let's go ahead and say variable ground texture equals SK texture. So SK texture. And we want this to be image named and ground. Now end it with a parenthesis. Oh, I'm sorry, we should put that in quotation marks. 
Okay. Now we want to say a variable, and this will be our sprite equals sk sprite node texture ground texture. Now this just creates a sprite with the with the node that uh, with the texture that we created right up here. Okay, now we want sprite dot set scale and two dot two dot o. Now this is what you would change according to the size of your sprite that image that you created. But mine we have to scale it up two times. Okay, so now let's go sprite sprite dot position equals cg point make and then self dot size dot width divided by two now for our y value we want this to be sprite dot size dot height divided by two and this just sets it up in the proper position okay now self dot add child sprite now this will add our image to the scene but there are there is nothing there's no physics body around this image yet so we're going to have to create that right now so now let's say let's add a variable so variable and this will be ground equals sk node and end it with parentheses. All right, now we want to add a position to our ground. So let's go ground dot position. Had it on caps. Okay, ground dot position equals cg point make. And we want our first to be zero. And then our y value will be ground texture. So ground texture dot size dot height and then end it off okay now go ground dot physics body equals sk physics body and then we want to say rectangle of size colon and we want to say CG size make make and for our for our width value we want to set that to be self dot frame dot size dot width and for our y height value we want that to be ground texture dot size size dot height times 2.0 and now I forgot to add one more parentheses all right now that should that adds some physics to our node that we created now we want to say ground dot physics body dot dynamic equals false we don't want this to move now go self self dot add child and this will be ground okay 
Now, that should make everything work, so you guys can go test that out now. I'm not going to test it right now because I want everything to work before I test it again. But basically, this just makes it so the bird collides with the ground and a ground ha the ground has a look to it. Alright, now we want it to be when the, screen when the scene is touched, we want the bird to go up. So first, let's say let location equal touch dot location in node and self. So this is basically just saying the location will be inside of the scene. So when the location is inside of the scene, then we want to have the bird dot physics body dot velocity equals CG vector make sorry uh, yeah CG vector make and our first value will be 0 and our last value with be 0 and now say bird dot physics body dot apply impulse apply impulse and this will be 0 comma 25 oh I'm sorry so apply impulse impulse then we want to have a CG CG vector make and inside that we want to put 0 and 25 so again it should look like this bird dot physics body dot apply impulse and one more time okay bird dot physics body dot apply impulse CG vector make 0 comma 25 and you would also change this according to the size of your person so this fits the size of my person perfectly fine so I'm just gonna test this out right now alright now as you can see our iPhone has loaded up so let's as you click on the scene the bird flaps up and then he hits the ground right down here and we have the ground showing now you guys can change your images, do whatever you like with them. I just did this for tutorial purposes, but basically this is the basic gameplay of Flappy Bird. Next time we will get into doing the pipes and all of that stuff. So join me in the next tutorial. Anyway guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you guys want to see that part two, be sure to subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make Xcode, that'd be a pretty big problem.